like to talk to you brothers and sisters about an observation that I made. Many, many observations. People of a Tanakh adopt. They're people of contradictions. And specifically, I'm talking about the ghulat of a jarh wa tajrih. Because they have no ta'adil. It's always a jarh wa tajrih. And they are ghulat. They go overboard in the extremists from our brothers. There is an issue that is very important that we have to understand, especially during this time, and that is an asl, an asl from the asul of a salafi in the sunnah, is that we should avoid people of innovation. That has a meaning to it, and it has an understanding to it, and it has an application to it. Not the way people use it to weaponize the religion, to politicize the religion. But the issue and the observation that I saw is this issue with giving Dao as Speaker's Corner. Speaker's Corner, as far as Western civilization is concerned, is a bastion for free speech. Kufar came up with it. I don't know if it was in the, you know, the 20s, the 30s. I don't know. But the history of Speaker's Corner has everything to do with you are allowed to go to Hyde Park and to talk about whatever you want to talk about. And you won't be arrested. People are in the audience heckling you, challenging you. And it may be with Edip, and it may not be with Edip. So it's a bastion in the West for free speech. It has its good and it has its bad. My issue is, you know, in the religion of Al-Islam, we avoid people of innovation. And that has a meaning and an understanding to it. It's not according to every understanding of I'm a Bakr and Zaid. A brother is not on the Sunnah. So someone comes to say to me, don't sit with him. Don't ever be with him because the seller didn't sit with innovators. And he's just a regular person. I don't agree with that. But the point I want you to focus on is speaker's corner. There are some verses of the Quran that the Salaf used to use to make delil why we don't sit with every Amr, Bakr, and Zayd. From those ayat is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he said in the Quran, وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكَ فِي الْكِتَابِ And إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا it has been revealed to you, Ya Muhammad. It has been revealed to you in the book that if you were to hear the ayat of Allah being disbelieved in and the ayat of Allah being ridiculed and made fun of, then don't sit with the people who do that until they change their speech. If you continue to sit with them and you don't change the place, you don't change the place, then you will like them. That's one of the ayat. Another ayat is similar to that. وَإِذَا رَأَيْتُمْ لَذِينَ يُخُودُونَ فِي آيَاتِنَا فَأَعْرَضْ عَنْهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُودُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you see people who are ridiculing the ayat of Allah and they're talking about the ayat of Allah in a bad way, in a way that's not acceptable. They're talking about his deen. They're talking about him. They're talking about issues in a way that's not legislated, in a way that people will listen and go astray. Then don't sit with them until they change their speech. That's a command of Allah. And if you forget, if you forget, then when you remember, then don't sit with those people after the dhikra and the dhikr has come to you. So this is the point I want to bring to your attention. There is a da'i there in Speaker's Corner amongst the du'at of Speaker's Corner. I find him a bit of an enigma, very difficult to understand in many ways, although his reality is clear to me, alhamdulillah. But why is it that some of our brothers make it impermissible for brothers to give da'wah in this masjid that is a Dio Bundy masjid, or in that masjid that is a Brewi masjid, 
or at that institution or here or there or at that wedding here or there. And if a brother who is on the sunnah were to go there, they give them dawah in a nice way. They give them dawah without any conditions. We automatically say he's an innovator. He's going against the sunnah. But it's okay for you to give dawah in speaker's corner when this ayat is being compromised. The ayat that I mentioned. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you see the ayat of Allah, yukfaru biha. They're being disbelieved in and they're being ridiculed. And Speaker's Corner are not one, two, three, but multiple people who are cursing Allah, talking bad about Allah, non Muslims or ex Muslims who are rebuking El Islam and really talking bad about the religion in a way that is not acceptable. It's not nice. And this is exactly what Allah said. Don't sit with them until they change their speech. And if you stay there, you sit there, you will like them. But the person from the Gulat, the defender of the Gulat, even though he may say he's not from them, Wallahi, by the rub of the Kaaba, from the Gulat. Why is it okay for you to do that? And you're going to make ta'wil like the Ilmul Kalam people. It's okay for you, not okay for others. Others go to this message. It's not okay for them, but it's okay for you. And wallahi, the thing that's being mentioned in this ayat is happening in Speaker's Corner. I'll tell you how it can happen. It's because of the double standards and the tanaqadat of the qulat, the people of Hulu, and their du'at. And if they would only fall back and relax and realize, stop politicizing Islam. Stop weaponizing Islam. Stop looking for light and leadership. Stop doing that. You have something to give. Others have something to give. When are you going to wake up and stop doing this stuff? We have so many tahdiyat, so many challenges that are really on the table. And we still are here keeping the community preoccupied. Let Brawies and Dubundi, Obundis and Sufis and these brothers... Let them waste time, their time, the time of the Ummah. As for the people of the Sunnah and Salafiyah, come on, wake up, wake up. We do not come together on Al-Batil. Wallahi, and I'm not saying that unity, unity, but we can come together on the Haq. Yes, and don't get it twisted and misunderstood. I'm not here begging you for anything. I'm here to say to you, Stop being a person of Tanakadat. Stop it. People are cursing Allah and his messenger in Speaker's Corner. And you're still going there every week. And that's your dawah because people accept Al Islam because you can give dawah to the truth. Okay, let me tell you what my position is about that and the whole issue. I believe it is permissible for people to go to Speaker's Corner and to call to the haq the Salafi and the Sunnah and Tawheed. I believe it's permissible. I don't believe it's haram. And I don't believe that these ayat that I just mentioned by themselves make it haram. I don't. Because you're there and you're validating your presence and you're trying to do your best to give dawah to the truth and so forth and so on. But by the same token, people who go to the Masjid of the Brawi and the Diobandi and the Ikhwan or the Jamaat of Tablik or whoever, Muslims or non-Muslims, they don't put conditions on you and you weigh the benefits and the harms and you decide after al istishara with people of knowledge, people that you know, they say, yeah, I think it will be beneficial. It's okay for them to do that as well. But simply because they don't agree with you and your way and your understanding. Stop it. Stop it. And if you don't stop, that's okay. That's okay. Allah Ta'ala mentioned another ayat about this issue. وَاتَّقُوا فِتْنَةً لَا تُصِيبَنَّ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْكُمْ خَاصَّةً وَعْلَمُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْإِقَابِ Beware of a fitna. Beware of a punishment that may come down and that punishment does not only hit the people who did the wrong. The people in Speaker's Corner who are cursing Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, 
talking bad about Lil Snap. The fitna, the adab, won't only hit them, but it'll hit everybody who's there. Everybody. Even the ones who are there with the claim, I'm calling to the truth. I believe it's permissible to go to Speaker's Corner to give Dawah the law if you can validate your presence with Dawah Bileti Asin, with Dawah that has Hikmah. With dawa that is just not argumentative going back and forth. I believe it's permissible. Just as I believe it's permissible for a Muslim to go to a non salafi masjid to give dawah to Allah. You're going to speaker's corner with kofar all around you. And you're telling your Muslim brother the da'i of Allah. He can't go to that masjid to give dawah. Ya qawmi, kayfa tahkamun. What in the world is wrong with you people? Stop politicizing and weaponizing the Islam. You and your sheikhs. May Allah guide us, guide you, and guide our brothers of the Ghulat to the Sunnah and Sahihah with this mafhum that is Sahih. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.